In a previous video, we discussed how to use a Raspberry Pi to convert an RTMP livestream into an analog television service. Whilst I was setting up the picture timings on the scope, the observant amongst you might have noticed something missing. That's right, there's no teletext. To put this right, there are two main options. You could install VBit2, download a teletext service, set the service to automatically update, set the service to start on boot, tweak the overscan settings, live with 32 lines missing at the bottom of the screen, or you could do what I did and spend way too much time and effort building a teletext inserter board. The main unit is constructed in pretty much the same way as the IP to analog converter. We have an off the shelf sub rack module kit with a bunch of PCBs mounted to a piece of prototype board. In fact, the Pi and PoE card are exactly the same. However, the magic sauce is on the actual teletext inserter board. I won't go into the full details of how this board actually works, we wouldn't have time for that, but the board works something like this. The incoming analogue video signal is converted to a digital stream by the video decoder chip. This signal goes straight back to a video encoder chip to convert it back to analogue. This might seem a bit pointless, but it's actually where the magic happens. That video encoder chip has a teletext data input. So at the appropriate moment, it reads a bunch of teletext packets out of this RAM chip and puts them directly onto the video signal. That's where the Pi comes in. It actually generates the teletext packets for transmission from VBit2, and during the active picture, it copies them over into the RAM chip, ready for the next blanking interval. The main advantage of doing teletext insertion this way is that you can use it on any composite video signal. So for example, you could connect this to the output of a digital TV receiver to have CFAX back on BBC One. It also does an extremely good job of the raised cosine teletext signal. Some other projects use microcontroller pins to bit bang the packets onto the video signal, but this creates a signal that is very out of spec. Which, to be fair, doesn't matter a huge amount in this application, but seeing the whole point of this is to get as close to broadcast quality as possible, I feel like it's worth taking the extra effort. If you'd like to build this unit yourself, I may eventually release the PCB design so you can get them manufactured, or I may sell pre-made kits. Do let me know if you'd be interested. I also realised that I should really talk about how I actually create teletext content, but since that would take far too long to discuss in this video, my plan is to create a series on the topic sometime in the future. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have some more videos coming soon.